Stand clear of the closing doors. There's a test on this train. That's an ultraviolet light. The special devices and lamps are put inside empty train cars to see how they can battle COVID-19. And flash. Here's what it looks like in slow motion. The test will look at coverage and what gets zapped. Uh, I'm speaking as a New Yorker who uses a subway uh, pretty well every day, and so I have a personal stake in making the subway system just as safe as it can possibly be. The lab tests were done by Dr. David Brenner, the director of the Center for Radiological Research at Columbia. And essentially, we, we uh, measure how many of the viruses have been killed by, by the UV light, and uh, the results have been very encouraging. Uh, as, as scientists do, we're going to repeat the studies. We're going to write them up for peer review. Transit officials and health experts are looking for ways to reduce and eliminate any level of virus on trains and buses. Deep cleaning and disinfecting has been done since the beginning of March in the MTA system, several times a day in some places, they say. And from 1 a.m. to 5 a.m. each night, the system shuts down to allow for more. This new process and pilot program will begin to test next week in the yards. It proves that it, if you use these lamps and the duration and the placement of those lamps is what we're trying to figure out, that, that you have confirmed uh, kill of, of COVID-19. I don't want to mislead anybody to thinking this is a cure-all. There is still much work to be done, but this is a significant and promising new development. It will, uh, of course, enhance the disinfecting the MTA has been doing. The chairperson called it 100% safe after it has been uh, applied. Of course, we've all heard about the dangers of UV rays. That's why the MTA will be watching and working with the company that they purchased these lamps from uh, to see if it has any application in a station environment uh, or in uh, employee break rooms. Live along the 7, Greg Mocker, PIX11 News.